Hey y'all, the Season Marketer here. I'm excited to be back and discussing a new marketing topic that is relevant and extremely important to all business owners. So today's topic is branding. So branding is something that a lot of business owners get confused with marketing. And I'll be honest with you, even people in the marketing industry get uh, confused with what branding is and isn't. So in today's video, we'll be discussing what branding isn't, what branding is, and really how it differs from marketing and why as a business owner, you're gonna to wanna to really pay attention and take the time to develop a branding strategy. So when people often think about branding, they often think branding means keeping a consistent logo, consistent color scheme across all advertising and marketing, and also keeping a consistent messaging. And while all of this is true, and it is a component and a part of your overall branding strategy, it does not encompass everything that branding is. It really is just touching the tip of the iceberg. So what is branding? Branding is actually what I like to call all encompassing. Brandy has eight components to it. It is your logo, your design, your communication, it's your mission, your vision, your behavior, your language, and culture. Branding is going to include everything from your storefront to the way your staff interacts with a consumer. Um, it is the way you answer the telephones, the marketing and advertising that you put out in the community. Branding is truly your overall umbrella, but for every single interaction, you're gonna want a strategic plan. You want to guide and determine what your consumers are thinking about your organization and branding is the key. So let's review what branding isn't. Branding is not just consistent logo, consistent color scheme, and consistent messaging. That is a part and a component of branding, but that in itself does not make up a branding strategy. Now let's review what branding is. Branding does have eight key components. It's going to be your logo, your design, communication, behavior, language, mission, vision, and culture. So now let's really get into the meat and potatoes. How is branding different from marketing? Marketing, if you remember, is the action of promoting or selling your product or service. That in itself is a component to our branding strategy. So the easiest way to remember this is branding is going to be strategic. It's gonna be a long-term plan and something that you really need to pay a lot of attention and detail to. Marketing is going to fall under that branding umbrella but it is gonna be tactical. The best analogy is to consider your company a person. Branding are gonna be the values, the beliefs, the character of this person, right? Marketing is then going to be the day-to-day -day activities that they do. The two must always be aligned. So as a person, I have my own values and beliefs. The stuff that I do on a daily basis should always reflect my values and beliefs. In the same way, you're going to want your company or organization to, on a daily basis, reflect those mission, vision, values, and beliefs that you have laid out as a branding strategy. As a business owner, there are four main reasons that you are really going to want to focus on your branding strategy. First is it guides your consumers. As a customer, I want to know what to expect when I walk into your place of business or I purchase the product that you're offering me. 
Now, if you have done a great job of laying out your branding strategy, then as a customer, I am going to be able to know what your values are, and I'm also going to know what your mission is as a company. Second, it helps to guide your employees. So anytime you have a really strong branding strategy, it allows your employees to really be fully invested in what they're doing on a daily basis. So any great organization has a mission and vision statement that each employee can really recite back to them because that is at the core of what they're doing every day. It also provides extra motivation for your staff. People that are fully invested and fully and truly believe in your organization's mission statement are going to be able to reflect that on a daily basis with their interaction with your employees. Third, branding also helps guide you. So if you're struggling to really make decisions on where to put your resources or what to invest in, having a great branding strategy is going to allow you to make those decisions quickly and effectively. And part of that is because you're going to be outlining a mission and vision for your organization. Those are going to be the key values that you are going to always rely on and go back to make sure that every decision you're making in business reflects those mission and vision statements. And lastly, branding is directly linked to your reputation as a company. What this means is as a business owner, branding can really elevate your company in the eyes of your consumers. And the way it does that is marketing, because it's tactical and it's done on a daily basis, can get people to go out there and buy your product and service. But branding is going to make them evangelist. Branding is what is going to cause them to go out and really spread the word and keep coming back to your business for your particular product or service. That, in essence, is what you want. All right, so let's do a quick recap. Branding is not just consistent logo, consistent color scheme, and consistent imagery in advertising. Branding is, however, made up of eight key components. It's going to be your logo, your design, communication, behavior, language, mission, vision, and culture. Branding and marketing are different. Marketing is tactical, branding is strategic. If your company were a person, branding would be the beliefs, their values, and their vision for their life. Branding is, in essence, the heart of a company. Reasons that you want, as a business owner, to pay attention to branding strategy. It guides your customers, it guides your employees, it guides you, and it's directly linked to your reputation. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. Please be sure to tune in for the next one where we'll actually be diving in and looking at branding strategy and what all it entails. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also feel free to find me on Instagram or Facebook at The Season Marketer. Available also online at www.theseasonmarketer.com.